All right, hey guys, today I'm going to make the Koji Nator Mark II. This is the second version of uh, the Koji incubator I'm going to make. The first one I actually used a styrofoam box. Uh, we are here in Singapore actually, so uh, what the conditions for growing Koji is uh, it is exactly my room temperature. Koji is ex exothermic, so, so, that, so it does give off its own heat. Um, so instead of where all my friends are in the temperate countries where they have sort of put heaters in the incubator to to make the koji happy to grow here in Singapore in the tropics I uh, actually have to sort of make a cooling system to make sure it doesn't overheat so okay first up let's take a look at the box this is a box by Thermo Future it is made of uh, some kind of fancy foam and what we have is actually a food pan carrier um, this is good because I think it's a uh, it has very good thermal insulations. It's, it's totally, it is a very easy sort of shelf system for me to put the koji in. You can actually use standard um, GN pens right here, so it's easily found. Um, all the pens you can, the sizes fits very well. It, it is an easy sort of a drawer system. It has a nice Jeez. door for opening and closing to get all my koji, and it has lots of space for me to sort of put my um, humidifier. Or, sorry, humidity humidifier and stuff and yeah I mean it's not super cheap but it seems to do a job um, fine instead of going all the way out and building a wooden box yes now for the cooling capacity in question uh, I'm using a, what is this called a pelt layer pelt here chip so it actually is a semiconductor chip and uh, one side it vents out the heat and the other side is sort of uh, cools it down. The main issue with this is that because Koji is sort of incubating in such a humid environment, any cooling environment will sort of create tons of condensation. Um, for now, I'm just going to find some kind of food pan to collect all the con condensation. Uh, and, um, but that seems to be an easy solution for now. But that is the tr main trouble that we have. Uh, and uh, but this thing is quite powerful. It managed to cool the whole thing down. The last time when I was doing it in Mark One, it was cooled the whole chamber down to 19 degrees, which is way above um, what is needed. I just need to chill it down to 28. Uh, the room temperature in Singapore is typically 28 to 30, but with the Koji exothermic, uh, it, it rises up to 40 degrees easily in this chamber. So it does need some kind of cooling uh, environment. I in the tropics here, I really do not need any humidity control. Um, the room, the humidity, con humidity in the air right now is about 80%. Um, and with the damp koji inside, it easily goes out 90%. Uh, no problem. The only issue is that when this runs, it sort of sucks up the humidity in the air just a little bit. Uh, might just have to put a little pan of water inside just to make sure they control it. But um, we'll see. But for the last time I used it in Mark 1, it's not too bad. So. This is coordinator Mark 2. I'm just gonna drill a hole to put the the pelt layer refrigerator in and let's go. Okay, it's a nice snug fit here, and uh, what we can see, nice. So the the cold air will come inside here. I think I might need some kind of circulator fan inside, but uh, we'll see whether this small fan is enough to circulate air. What we're gonna have is a small food pan here to collect the condensate. I tried all kinds of I, I think of all kinds of ideas. Uh, whether it's a gutter to sort of redirect it away, or maybe um, 
some kind of wicker thing the wicker is cotton string to wick away the moisture but I know that I just went with the most easiest solution which is just a pan to collect the water um, ultimately you don't really do koji for more than two days you do it for within like 20, 48 hours um, I don't think you just need to remove the water once every maybe 12 hours or 24 hours or perhaps even a 48 hours don't need to do it uh, don't need to sort of remove the water um, so we have the easier solution I initially thought of mounting thing at the back but it just doesn't sit well and I don't think it sort of do very well with sort of the thermal the way they cool the whole area I think being in the center cools the whole area the most efficiently so um, foot pan solution easy solution all right let's hook it up See whether the refrigeration unit comes on at 29.5. I'm just holding a sensor in my hand right now. Hopefully, it bumps right up, and once it reaches 29.5, the system will kick on. Damn, I have very humid hands. Whoa! Yes! Okay, so now we're just gonna do a quick test and see whether the refrigeration unit is powerful enough to cool down this device. Um, we're gonna set it to 25 degrees and see how long it takes to get there from 30 degrees. Here it is guys, Cogenator Mark 2. We have the drip tray for all the condensation. For all the condensation. All this <coughs> commercial GN pan size that fit perfectly here. And there you go. Done! Thanks for watching, leave a comment if you have anything to add on, see you.